In this tutorial, we will see how to enhance the meshes. We can enhance the meshes by making a washer around the circle. Go to the quick edit panel and there is an option named as washer split. Make the offset value as you desired and select the circle. It will automatically split the circle in two regions. Thus, while making the mesh, we can control the mesh of these two regions separately, like this. In a critical region, the 12 elements are uh, recommended around the washer. We can also split the surfaces by selecting nodes and nodes and nodes or lines. Let's try it node line option. The splitted line is always perpendicular to selected line. To unsplit a surface, there is also option for unsplitting surface. Select the line you want to unsplit. While splitting the surface, we can also take the nodes of the previously created element to split like this. We had splitted the surface in following manner. Now we can match this. In this interactive mesh, we can control the densities of element. For example, five element are flowing from this side, and five element are flowing from this side. Still we are getting some tires and some um, abnormal tires like in this position this can be a quad we can combine them to make quad in 1d page go to the edit element and combine radio button select the combine to quad and select those element and click on the combine we had combined in the two quad two tires into a quad in similar manner we can split into split the elements by making a line and click on the split like this we can also create the element if accidentally deleted by selecting the create in the edit element panel there are other options also in the quality index toolbar like this a place node option where we can adjust the node by dragging to improve the quality of elements like this a smooth option will automatically smoothen the element flow by clicking on smooth to get in this option we have to go to the 2d page and select the quality index there is the option now named as cleanup tools where all these options are located there is also an option known as direct trial where we can drag the try element like this to make them into a quad dragging the try element 
make sure your image should not be distorted too much like if we drag more trias our image started to distort like this in the modify hole and washer option we can drag the hole or washer to modify and enlarge to change the radius or diameter of hole or washer we can split or collapse edge by this option like this and this option is used to visualize the element by their quality wise for example if we go to the only ideal element then it displays more weight qualities element which is deviated from its ideal shape while we increase the threshold to worst element it doesn't highlight any element until it gets to worst now for getting a map mesh first we have to delete all the elements and observe how we can get the mesh Let us start with the washer by creating two element around it. Now go to the auto mesh and mesh the outer region. To get more uniform mesh, uh, observe the symmetry. This component is symmetrical to. to only one eighth of this part we can rotate and translate to make the whole component by using this one eighth part only let us start with this one eighth part to divide it into the one eighth we have to interpolate the nodes extract on line option split the washer and select the node node split this is the one net required part we can reflect these elements and translate and rotate in 90 degree all over the geometry to get the exact same geometry start with this one net mesh and go to the automation see how it's create it's creating the mesh automatically It is creating this type of mesh. Thus, we have to do a little more work over there. Reject this type of mesh. Go to the geometry page and interpolate six nodes on this line and six nodes in this line. Delete all the elements. and use node node option to split these surfaces now we can get a easy mesh flow like this reflect this mesh in this region and rotate all over 90 degree go to tool page and select the option reflect select element we have to reflect in x direction to select x direction select all the nodes and select the base is this node duplicate the elements now go to the rotate page before going to the rotate page we have to get a central node
we have to rotate the element by selecting base as the center node go to the reflect option select element as all base as this node and axis axis as z axis sorry we are in reflect panel we have to rotate this element to go to the rotate page rotate panel and rotate like this duplicate the elements our mesh is created but we have to join this element which are created by rotating or translating to joining this element go to tool page and select the edges select selector is component go to preview equivalence and click on equivalence now the nodes are joined together we can clear the nodes again if we check the quality of elements there is aspect length which can be ignored because and jacobian defect on the critical elements because the length of of these two edges of element are more than the length of these two edges we have to decrease this difference the difference can easily decrease by using the biasing let's delete the elements in this region go to the auto 2d auto mesh and mesh go to the biasing radio button and we can select how much biasing we need for example let take the biasing of 3 now we check the quality like jacobian now newly created element are doesn't falling in the jacobian because this element is now closer to the ideal shape also in aspect this element is not failing